That's what it is when you look up that word remnant in the in the Hebrew. It goes in, it goes into that uh, that uh, into that meaning that it's going to be a small group escaping uh, judgment or destruction, man. Okay, while everybody else is going to receive destruction, man. Judge, you're going to be judged according to your ways. We're all are, but we don't want to be found in that in that situation where we're being killed by a, an animal or other men, you know, or by by Yahweh by Shemal Washai, by that fire or those laser beams by the chariots, man. You know? So they like to lie and wait with the righteous. Why? Because we speak the truth, man. We come out here and stand upon our watch, waiting to see what we're gonna be if we're gonna be reproved, man. And the one that does doesn't want to uh, uh, receive it, you're gonna get rebuked. You know, or the one that that's trying to bear with us for a little, you know, and and it and seems like they they they're 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 hungry, right? Because we're like those that uh we're like the uh the sower of the seed, man. So we gotta uh, uh, preach, teach this word, and hope, Lord willing, that that seed grows in that individual. Then we'll, then we're gonna go into uh, um, Habakkuk chapter two, where I was reading all the way down, letting you know, he, uh, make it plain up upon tables that he that readeth it runneth, you know, that runs his race, you know, that gets that starts um, um, believing, having faith, you know, and letting you know that uh, the vision is for an appointed time; it shall it shall, shall surely come. But right now, I'm telling you that I'm upon my watch. You know, sounding the trumpet, letting you people know, being a sign unto you, man. You know, to the brothers on the on, on the on the, on the uh, other side of the camera, you know, other side of the world, in the different states that watch the videos, man. You know, verse thirteen, he professed to have the knowledge of the Most High, and he called it to, he called call it himself the child of the Lord. You know. He professes to have the knowledge of the Most High. That's what we do, man. We have that, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? We have been given, endowed, endowed with that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right? Uh, let me see the one I was going to bring out. Uh, let's see. This is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 11. But thou, O man of God, flee, the, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life whereunto thou art called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Okay? So, yeah, that's what it, we do have the knowledge, man. You know? We've been endowed with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has given us the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. You know? Pour the spirit into us to, to, to come out here and speak, man. You know? It says, uh, bring this one out in the book of Isaiah. This is Isaiah 34 and 16 of Salakia. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's right. So wisdom, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, of our times. What are those times? And perilous times, in the times of trouble, in the times of affliction. Okay? This wisdom, these words, these, these, these scriptures is our comforter, man. This is the Holy Spirit. And your pastors won't tell you that. They tell you it's just something that's just floating in the sky. But it's right there in your face, man. Right in your hands. You people don't even know it, man. This is what this is our wisdom and knowledge, man, that we've been given to to uh to to to, to, to profess, man, to confess, to proclaim, to avow. 
right? To project, all right? To make known, man. That's our job, man. To set upon our watch. This is a watchtower, man. I don't have to be on top of a building or a piece of wood or a piece of block of wood. This is where it's at, you know? This is how this is how it's always been in the old times of the ancient days, man. All right. It says, "Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure." You know. This is Acts chapter 2, verse 18. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. See? What is his spirit, man? His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. His word. This is John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You know? So that, that's what it is, man. He's going to pour out his spirit in the last days on his handmaidens and his servants to prophesy, man. Now let's find out what that prophecy is. This is Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See, do it not. And that's a cut right there. Not to be worshiping angels, man. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. This is the spirit of prophecy, man. All right? And this is not to be, uh, to be taken lightly, man, for you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. Okay? So going back to Going back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 14, He was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us, even to behold. Man, that, that, that's crazy because in 1 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 3, it said that the apostles were appointed in the last days as if it were uh, to be unto death, to be a spectacle unto, unto the angels and men, that were despised in the eyes of men, that you can't even behold us, man. You can't even look upon us. That's how much you hate us. Because why? Because we speak against you. We speak against your your uh, your beloved America, which really is not your land. You took you took it, man. You know that that's that's factual. You know that's facts. It's in the books. You know, and there's coming race wars. There's gonna be a race riot. There's gonna be race riots here. There's gonna be co co complete chaos here. Just wait and watch, man. Mark, me, mark those words. And when they come to pass, you're going to know a prophet had been among you, man. Thus said Yahweh Bashem Yahweh was shot. All right? It said he was made to reprove our thoughts. That's right. Certain men are made to reprove your thoughts. You know? The mind is wicked above all things. Who can know? I'm telling you that your, 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 your ways are, are, are evil towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh was shot, man. You know? Oh, there's a scripture. You know what? I think I know where it's at. Right? You are made to reprove your thoughts. There's a scripture where it talks about oh wicked imagination. Where 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 did that come from? Roughly paraphrasing. You know what? I want I want to find it now. Let me uh look up on my phone. Y'all brothers, bear with me, man, because we were made to reprove their thoughts. Because the mind is wicked above all things, and the mind the process. 
the mind process of you people, you know, your ideas, your your imaginations is what's bringing down uh, uh, the judgment, man. The the the, the devising of idols, the, these false philosophies and doctrines, you know. Wicked imagination, you know what I'm saying? But that's what it is. The mindset, man. like the mindset, the vibration here in America. That that's on on, on a lot of people, man. The a pride, a bad attitude, thinking you, you're all that. You ain't nothing, man. You know. Huh. Uh. This is in the book of uh. Sirach 37, there it is. I knew it was in the book of Sirach. Alright. Sirach 37 and 3, it says, O wicked imagination, whence camest thou and to cover the earth with deceit? You see? Because everybody has an Im imagination. It's, it's Jeremiah 17, it says that uh, the, the mind, the heart is wicked above all things. Who can know it? Now, when you go into the, the Hebrew for that word heart, it, it, it's the Hebrew word lab, which talks about the mind, man. Your, think, your thinking process. You know, the cogitations of the mind, man. So, yes, we are, we, I was created to reprove your thoughts. You know? Read it again. Sirach 37 and 3. O wicked imagination, whence camest thou in to cover the earth with deceit? You see? Going back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 14. He was made to reprove our thoughts. You know? When did it come, man? It came during the time of Adam and Eve with the serpent. You know? With the serpent beguiled Eve. With the serpent, that's just a, 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 a symbolic for a man. How he came with subtlety, man. Real crafty, sly. You know? But that's when that uh, that wicked imagination had began to uh, uh, bring forth fruit, you know, upon the earth and, and, and waxing worse and worse, man. You know, that's when it came in. And we're, we're here to reprove those thoughts. We're here to cast down those strongholds, man. You know, telling you that 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 white Jesus you bow down to you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. That's that's a, 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 an idol, man. That's a false idol. That's not the image. That's not the, 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 the image, the express image of Yahweh by Shemi Awashah. You know? Going back to uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1, <clears throat> uh, verse 15. He is grievous unto us even to behold. You see, they, they can't even, they don't even like looking at us, man. It's like we don't like looking at you. So it goes both ways, you know what I'm saying? It's a balance. You know, you can't stand y'all either, man. You two thirds, your proud, your proud attitude, your proud looks, your haughty spirit. You know, the Yahweh Shah said he made our 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 forehead strong against your foreheads. Man. You know, he made our look hard against your look, our faces, man. All right, it says he is grievous unto us to behold. For his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. And that's right, because we don't walk in this Western way, uh, 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 the Western way of thinking here in America, man. We're putting on that new man, that new creature, serving our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Following the law, statutes, and commandments of the old Oriental, man. Not the Occidental mind frame that's over here in America, man. That Alexander the Creek. Have bestowed upon all the people and Hellenized my people, the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. That's why we we kill and hate each other, man. Because you taught us that, man. There's a perfect example not only here in America today, but going over into the to Haiti in the Dominican Dominican Republic. You put them brothers against them, against each other, man. And his when he called that place at one time Hispaniola, the New Spain. You put them brothers against themselves, man. And you know why they hate each other? Because they're based off their color, man. 
because the, the, the Dominican Republic, they're all pale skin, and then you got the Haitians that are dark skin, man. Fighting and killing each other, man. Envying and, and, and things of that nature against each other, man. Just like here in America. You know? You got some Jakes that talk down on light skin Jakes. Then you got light skin, light skin Jakes that talk down against the dark skin Jakes, man. Envying and being jealous over one another, man. But the scriptures say in Isaiah chapter 11 that Ephraim and Judah shall not envy one another anymore, man. We're going to become one head. And that's what's happening. The Negro, Latinos, the Native American, Indian, we're coming back together, man. All right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's gathering his great army. Okay? Going to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, uh, verse 16. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Right? He, he abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. Right? Just like he said that uh, we're the offscoring of the earth. Going back to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. We're despised. Right? So are you, man. You're despised too. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 11. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place and labor working with our own hands. And that's, that's just to let you know that we got jobs, man. We ain't no bums. We make big money too. All right? We just serve our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We do this to present our bodies a living sacrifice, being uh, 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 zealous for our belief, man. All right? Ushering the return of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, Being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So in y'all's eyes, we're filthy. But in our eyes, y'all filthy, man. So it, 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 it's a perfect balance. Okay? The scriptures say in the book of Proverbs, Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Y'all can hold each other's hand and say, We, we, we are the children, we are the world, y'all love everybody, this, that, and the third. We still going to get punished. Why? Because there's a reward for your actions, man. The Most High, he's a, 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 he weighs your actions in a balance. Okay? It says, going back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse, third, verse 16. We are esteemed of him as counterfeit. That's right. You self-proclaimed Christians. Y'all are Christians on Sunday, right? But during the rest of the week, you're leading up to that Saturday, that Friday, Saturday comes. Y'all want to be wicked, man. Committing adultery. Sleeping with, especially like you women, always committing adultery here in America, man. That's highly condoned, man. Homosexuality. All right? Everything is, 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 is at its highest peak, man. And is accepted here. Except for the truth. Except for the true men of the Lord, man. They're not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm going to tell you the truth according to the scriptures, man. But then y'all have the audacity to say that the Most High's ways are unequal. They're not equal. Your, your ways are not equal. And you're wondering why, wondering why you're getting all these different diseases, the different uh, 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 people getting put, de put to death in the streets. You know? Because you called it to yourself, man. You made a covenant with death. It says... He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. So it's a balance. So we, yes, we do abstain ourselves from your filthiness. From this, 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 this Western way of thinking, man. This westernized way of living. Which is nothing but, brought nothing but death and destruction Best to my way, people, Western man. way. Huh? Western way. Really. You're an Edomite, man. What? You come, you're an Edomite. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're an Edomite. You, you're an you Edomite. What's you're an what? Edomite. You Edomite? come, here, you come from your forefather Esau. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what it is. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You know? The Western, the Western way of life here in America has brought nothing but death and destruction. All you people are, are, are depressed. If you ain't on medication, you're, you're, you're cutting yourself. If you ain't doing that, you're doing drugs, man. You're doing, you're doing, you're smoking ice. 
snorting a line of coke. This place is nothing but hell, man. Then you had this old Edomite coming up here, real proud. That's 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 the that's the that's that's the spirit of here in America, man. Pride, man. And you think you're gonna get away from that pride, man? That's hateful before the face of the most size. Pride. He hates pride, man. All right. It says. He pronounced the end of, of the just to be blessed and make it his boast that Yahweh is his father. That's right. He is our father, man. He said it. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Yahweh. Let us see if his words be true. And that's what y'all going to say. Let's see if his words are true. And let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. What does that mean? Is that y'all gonna actually come? There's gonna come a day where y'all gonna try to y'all gonna try to apprehend us, man. Just like y'all did to Yahweh Shai when y'all crucified him, right? Y'all delivered him unto the uh, the synagogue or the, uh, the the Israelites, the Jews at that time. They, they they delivered him unto the high priest, and ultimately they delivered him unto uh, Pontius Pilate, to King Herod. And what did they do? They had him crucified. No. It says For if the just man be the son of the most high He will help him You know But the scriptures say Strive for the truth unto death And the Lord shall fight for thee man You know You gotta put your life on the line for this truth man And stop putting your life on the line for a woman For your job You know because all that stuff, man, is going to get you destroyed, man. The scriptures say, first, first seek ye the kingdom of heaven, and everything shall be added unto thee, man. You know? Everything, you, everything that you do has to be towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It says, And deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture. Right? All because I'm standing upon my, my, my watch. Alright? All, all because I'm standing on, on, on my watchtower, man. Letting you people know, speaking this word, man. You know? Y'all gonna end up trying to do that. Calling the cops. You know, that's what y'all do. Why? Because y'all are afraid. Y'all are scared. You know? Y'all are scared to hear that your, your, your beloved America is gonna get destroyed, man. You know? That's right, roll those windows up. Because this Bible ain't for you. Salvation ain't for you. Sa salvation ain't for you, man. What was that? What what you say? I can't even understand what you said. What are you saying? What you say? No, for real, what you say? Hey, I don't give a damn about these damn boots. They're for work. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you're about to be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be destroyed by way of fire. And you, you're, you're an Edomite. You come from your father Esau. And I'm going to let you know. I'm letting all you Edomites know. All right? Okay. It said... Because the God that you worship is not the God of the Bible. You, I, Yeah, I do. I, I study the Bible. You believe? What do you believe in? Do you believe that everybody can be saved? Why? Who's his children? No, it ain't. It's only these people on the side. The 12 tribes of Israel, the, the sons of Jacob. The sons of Jacob. Y'all are just here. I was showing you a scripture. Y'all are just here. You're really supposed to be our servants. But because we went off, listen, because we went off, since we went. Because that's what I'm prophesied to do. I'm going to show you something. This is in the second Ezra, chapter 6. Verse 20, 54. And after these, Adam also, who thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Adam, right? You know about Adam? Adam was handpicked by the Most High to, 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 to uh, take care of the, of the Garden of Eden, which is over there. And over there in the, the Middle East. The Fertile Crescent, what you call Israel. All right? It says, of him came we all, right? We all came from him. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who did he choose? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the twelve sons of Jacob, which is Judah, 
all the way down to Issachar, the 12 tribes. All, right, well, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Our sakes. Our sakes. But, no, our sake. Because we went off. We're here to serve slavery, man. We're in captivity. It's in the books. No, it wasn't. We're still in slavery. All right. It says, it's, it's fine. I got thousands of brothers everywhere. It says, as for the other people, we also came of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. They, they are as nothing, and they be like unto spittle, man, as, as a, a, all the other people. You know, you had another Edomite asking me, uh, 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 why, why are you wearing boots? These are my work boots. I wear these boots because I, I have to work, man. I don't wear no goddamn cowboy boots outside, my, outside of my life, outside of work. I'm about to have, I'm having to go to work here in a little bit. See, their argument is whack, man. Because I'm over here talking about the Western way of life. She, 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 she made a comment saying, well, why don't you take off your, your, those boots if you hate the Western the westerns the west so much these are still toe boots and i use them for work but anyway that, that, that that's a weak little argument man you scoffing at some stupid ass shit man these edomites are through man all right it says uh going back to second ezra chapter 6 uh verse 56 as for the other people which also come of adam right and that's what she was saying that the uh uh the lord loves everybody that god created the earth for everybody he created it for us, man. And for them to be our servants. And she was scoffing about that, you know. But she don't understand. These people don't understand. I ain't trying to convince them. You know what I'm saying? But it's just for the edification purposes, you know. It says, it says, But be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Right? Because they're nothing, man. The most I have not dealt with these people. All right. This is Psalms 47 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob and his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any other nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye Yahweh Shemiah man. You know? Psalms 148. And 13, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people and praise of all his saints. Even the children of Israel, a people near unto him, pray, praise ye the Lord, man. A people near unto him. He has chosen Yahweh, or he has cho chosen Israel, man. The 12 tribes of Israel. That's who he loved. That's who he's chosen. All right. This is uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You know? So Jacob is who the Most High, the creator of all things, of heaven and earth, which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh He loves Jacob. And who is Jacob? Israel. And who did Israel have? His 12 sons, the 12 tribes, man. Okay, which are here and well and alive here in America and in the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, it says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And Esau is our uh, our wicked brother, the Hebrew Edomites, and the Most High hates him. So how much more the other nations? He only loves Jacob, man. That's who he's dealing with. He has not dealt so with any other nation. Now let's go over here to the book of Isaiah. All right. Let's see. This is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 15. It says, Behold, the nations are as a drop of the bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. See? 
So the, the, the other nations are as a drop of a bucket, man. They're as nothing to him, man. He ain't worried about these other nations, these heathens. You know, he ain't dealing with them, man. This is 2 Ezra chapter 3. Verse 36, it says, Thou shalt find that Israel by name had kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. You see? The Lord, Israel is the Lord's portion, man. Okay? Going back to 2 Ezra chapter 6, uh, verse 57, it says, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us, and to devour us, but we thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. You see? Why? Because we went off, you know? And that's what I was trying to tell her. But she was scoffing and mocking, you know? That God loves everybody, slavery was abolished. You know, slavery was just made into a new way, a new creative way. Of, of, of think, making you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians think that slavery has been, been abolished. It has not been abolished, man. We're still in slavery. We can't do what we want. You know? This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. It says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Right, all these curses. All the curses that are written in the book of Deuteronomy shall overtake us, man. Right? It says, Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Right? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thy serve thy enemies. See? We shall serve thy enemies. You know? And I told her that they're, they were really supposed to be our servants. And she's like, well, why are you out here serving me? You see? That's these damn demons, man. These damn devils. These Edomites, man. But this is the curse. This is this is the um the curses that we're in that we are we are servants. Right? But we are out here serving our people. The elect, the brotherhood, man. You know, I ain't serving her. I'm letting her know that she's gonna go into captivity. I'm making letting her know what she is. You know? It says, Therefore shalt thy serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Till he had destroyed them. See? That's plain, man. You know? We're still in the land of our captivity. We haven't been put back in our rightful place. 